And since I lately did tons of benchmarks, trying to find out whether the Windows game mode does actually boost your FPS or not, testing out all of the most popular stretch resolutions in Chapter 2 Season 8 to find out how much more FPS we actually gain, comparing all of the in-game colorblind settings to give you guys the biggest competitive advantage, and more and more Windows tweaks and settings to give you even more FPS and the lowest amounts of latency, I just felt like I need to do a new video about the best competitive Fortnite settings in Chapter 2 Season 8. I'm also going to compare normal Gatron yellow switches with optical Gatron yellow switches for you to see how big the difference actually is. And if you guys enjoy this content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And when it actually comes down to the previous Fortnite seasons, the Windows game mode actually was always boosting our performance. Like I've tried it out and I recommended it always that people should utilize this mode actually to gain more FPS on your Windows PC. But just a few days ago, I actually did a benchmark here in Chapter 2 Season 8 and I have to say that I actually lost FPS while using the game mode. I've tried it out in Battle Lab and different situations and I have to say more or less I always lost around 20 to 50 FPS which is crazy guys and especially if you're like on a more lower end PC or a medium end PC losing around 20% of your FPS might actually make the difference to make your game unplayable. So therefore guys if you're still utilizing right now the Windows game mode please make sure to turn it off I'm also going to show you just in a second where to actually turn it off so see you guys just in a second. And yeah guys now I'm obviously also going to show you real quick how to disable the game mode on Windows 10 and Windows 11 it works for both. All you guys have to do is go into the Windows search bar and type in game mode until you find the game mode settings and just simply open it up here. And in this new window you can already see here the game mode which usually should optimize your PC for play by turning things off in the background. And I'm just gonna leave the benchmark also in the description guys so you can check it out for yourself. This game mode doesn't work properly right now here for season 8 so therefore please make sure to turn this actually to off guys and once you're done that just simply close this window and restart your PC and you should be good to go. And yeah guys I'll also compare all of the colorblind settings which are right now in Fortnite, Tritonob, Protonob and Dotronob. And obviously also the colorblind turn to off and I have to say only on Tritonope and the colorblind actually turned to off We could see anything. Tritonope looks super nice, Protonope is a little bit less colorful and Dotronope looks horrible in my opinion And I want to tell you guys that Tritonope is the way to go and you might think for yourself right now Okay, why should we use Tritonope if the picture looks exactly the same if we turn our colorblind off? Well, the difference is right now here on screen as well. If you we take a look at the nighttime guys, on Tritonope we have the most colorful and most vibrant colors and on any other colorblind mode or just simply a colorblind turned off, we can definitely see less than if we utilize Tritonope. So therefore on Tritonope the picture is still bright enough to actually spot enemies and I have to say it looks really good. And since night times appear quite frequently in Fortnite right now in Battle Royale, we have to also take care of that. So therefore Tritonope is 100% the best colorblind mode right now in Fortnite Season 8. And I also try out different colorblind strengths and I have to say for myself 5 is truly the sweet spot because if we go below 5 the picture is just getting too dark and we go above 5 on something like 10 the picture is just gonna get too bright and we can't see anything so therefore guys the colorblind strength should be set to 5 this is the sweet spot 100% and I'm just gonna show you an extra way how to make your game even more vibrant just right now and now I'm also going to show you extra step guys how to make your Fortnite look even more vibrant and all you guys have to do is click on the first link in the description where you can find my discord and there you find a program which is called Vibrance GUI and we just simply gonna open it up and actually drag it over here onto our desktop and then we just simply gonna double click onto it and we can see a brand new window here guys and we're just gonna select Fortnite if it's not in here guys we're just gonna go into add for you it shouldn't appear here in this window because you need to have Fortnite running in the background for it to actually appear here so just simply launch Fortnite in the background and then open up this program I already did it once so it's already like selected here and once it's selected here guys just simply double click onto Fortnite and put the in-game vibrance level to 75 this is the best one in my opinion and then just simply go into save and close this and you can more or less already delete this tool but there's also an additional step you guys can do which applies actually for both Nvidia and AMD since both softwares should have the settings and what you guys need to do is go into adjust desktop color settings and just simply scroll down a little bit until you find your color channel which you're gonna put on all colors brightness on 50 contrast on 50 gamma on plus 100 and digital vibrance to 50 and for the last one, HUE, I just keep it on zero degrees because it makes the picture just look like a little bit weird. But actually the feature which does the most you guys is digital vibrance. So just simply drag it here onto plus 50%, press apply and then you can close this already. And that's how you make your game way more vibrant. Next up, as mentioned, I also compared all of the most popular stretch resolutions in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8. We once got 1440 times 1080 and while switching from native to this resolution, we gained around 16.25% more FPS. When we switched to 1440 times 
times 900, we gained 9% more FPS. On 1722 times 1070, we gained 8.75% more FPS. On 1680 times 1080, we gained 5% more FPS. And on 1750 times 1080, we gained 2.5% more FPS. And as you can already see, guys, the numbers are way lower than on the previous seasons. I actually did a very similar video to this in Chapter 2 Season 6, where I compared also all of the most popular stretch resolutions, and the FPS gain was way bigger. This simply comes down to the fact that there are way more props on this map right now and way more animations going on so therefore this whole entire season is more hardware demanding and you need a stronger pc to actually achieve higher fps which might not be the best thing for competitive fortnite but they're trying to go with a theme there with all the cubes on the map and stuff like that it all really relates only to the storyline and it costs a ton of fps which is really sad so therefore guys the best stretch resolution for max fps is still 1440 times 1080 but it is really stretched so therefore you need to know for yourself i would personally say that the sweet spot is 1722 times 1070 since it's super close to native and you still almost gain 9% more FPS which can make a huge difference. And if you guys take a look at the footage right now here in the background I actually compared my K66 with normal Gatron yellow switches with my GK61 with optical Gatron yellow switches and I have to say the actuation point is so insanely different. Like you can see it for yourself I tried to showcase it quite well here that I tried to press down a key on my K66 with my keycap puller and you can see the distance was kind of big and as we moved over to to the GK61 it was at maximum only half of the distance to actually press down the key and get an actuation from the keyboard. You can also see it with the RGB lightning always going on when I press down the key actually. And I have to say guys this is such a huge noticeable difference actually on Fortnite if you're playing competitive. In other games it may not matter as much but since Fortnite is all about building and editing and fast motion gameplay this is super important. So therefore guys if you still didn't get your hands on an optical gaming keyboard you're definitely missing out there and trust me it is such a huge difference especially if you're still playing right now on a membrane keyboard even not even a mechanical keyboard maybe this is going to give you the biggest competitive advantage when it comes down to input delay since faster switches just simply can reduce your natural input delay i'm just going to call it there because of how much faster optical switches are actually and since we are talking about the best competitive fortnite settings guys i'm just going to show you the best fortnite in-game settings here in a second and what you need to do here under the video category in the first place is type in exactly the resolution your monitor is or if you're trying to use a stretch resolution i have tons of tutorials on my channel guys how to apply the best search resolution for low-end PCs laptops or just simply for competitive so make sure to check out my channel afterwards guys and as we move over to the graphics tab of course try turn up set to 5 guys this is the best one I think I just explained it before in the video so therefore yeah this is already like self-explanatory and when it comes down to the view distance guys I really like to have it on medium since I play comp but if you guys are just trying to go for the maximum FPS just put it on near guys obviously um, textures on low meshes on low as well since I'm using the alpha performance performance mode which is still the best mode for the least amount of latency and maximum fps on fortnite so guys please utilize this and i also have a full on guide on my channel guys explaining why the alpha performance mode is so much better than DirectX 11 or 12 and if you take a look at the game settings and especially the matchmaking region guys please put it exactly on the region where you guys are from because if you leave it on auto fortnite might maybe connect you with a server which is more stable but also further away which will result in higher ping and we of course don't want it so as you can see i'm playing on europe so i'm just gonna put it on europe if you're playing on any East put in on NA East you know you get the pawn boys and then as we scroll down here guys under the replays just make sure to turn all of these here off since they're just putting a huge workload onto your PC and costing us important FPS and as we take a look at the game UI and especially the HOD scout guys I just like to have it on 85 because it looks the best in my opinion you can tell me what you guys are using right now down in the comment section below I'm really interested and as we move over to my mouse and keyboard settings guys I won't recommend you actually to copy mine here because I'm playing on an insanely low sense I'm playing on 4.2% on 800 dpi which is really really low so therefore yeah you gotta find it for yourself most of the fortnite pro players are actually playing on something between like six percent to maybe seven percent on 800 dpi so really just try to find something here in between um this will just like be overall like the sweet spot if you take a look at like most of na east and europe's pros and as we move over to the audio settings guys here super super easy what you need to do is put the sound quality actually on low since even epic games employees themselves said that if you put this on high you might experience extra freezes which we of course don't want and if we take a look at the visual sound effects tab we also got to put it on off here guys because you can simply listen where enemies are coming from you don't need this on screen it's just going to put a huge workload onto your game as well and cost important fps so please make sure to turn this off as well and once you applied everything correctly guys you're already done here and you applied the best competitive fortnite settings in chapter 2 season 8 
And yeah guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And if you have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome, I'm out. Peace. That shit too light Big four and hoe come get inside Dame Gucci Lee come take a dive Kill that